Listen to the garden, Joe. They love him. Chanting Rempe. They love him. Guy's been here for two weeks. He's a hero. So I think it's pretty safe to say that Matt Rempe has become a fan favorite among Ranger fans, as the other night he had his name chanted at MSG, and the fans go absolutely wild whenever his face gets put on the Jumbotron. But online, the talk about Matt Rempe is a little bit different, as there are two pretty distinct sides. One side absolutely loves the player and appreciates that he's bringing back the physical presence in hockey, not shying away from a challenge and taking on some pretty fierce competitors in the process. But then you have the other side of the narrative where people don't actually like Matt Rempe at all because they think he's a publicity seeker or just a dirty player in general. And Matt Rempe did something today in the Rangers match against the New Jersey Devils that caused a lot of controversy all over Twitter and Instagram. You can see here that Siegenthaler has the puck, and then Matt Rempe comes in with the elbow and catches Siegenthaler. He goes down, and then all hell breaks loose. You can see this guy, Curtis McDermott here, going after Matt Rempe. And as a result of this play, Matt Rempe gets a major and a game misconduct. So yeah, a pretty wild sequence right there. You can see that Matt Rempe is absolutely loving it. The Ranger fans are on their feet cheering as Matt Rempe waves goodbye to the Devils players as he exits the ice. And I'm seeing a lot of people online go back and forth about this play. A lot of people are arguing that this was a dirty check and that Matt Rempe has no excuse for getting his elbow up there on Siegenthaler. But then a lot of people are also saying it was unintentional. So I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below as a result of this play here. What do you think... Matt Rempe's true intentions were, and do you think he deserves to be punished for his actions here on Siegenthaler? I want to wait to hear what you all have to say in the comment section below before I make any sort of judgment myself. The interesting thing about this one is that I've seen a lot of people defend both sides really heavily, and both have decent arguments to be fair. I mean, Matt Rempe is six foot eight, and whether you want to call this intentional or not, it is hard to keep your hands down when you're that tall. But that being said, though, he does clearly catch him with the elbow, and I don't know if being reckless like that is justified. But I've also seen people say that Siegenthaler did dive. I guess that's also a debate in itself, whether he sold it more than he should have. Let me know in the comments about that as well. But right now, it's a lot of stuff that's up in the air. We'll see what decision they come to in the coming days. Personally, I do like Matt Rempe. I think that he's been a fun player to watch. And I think a lot of the stuff that he's done so far in his career has sparked a lot of excitement among the league. But can he get a little bit carried away sometimes when the crowd is buzzing and they're chanting his name? Maybe, but I still do like the player nonetheless. It's funny because this is the second time that the Rangers have gone up against the Devils with Rempe in the lineup. And it's the second straight time that Rempe has gotten a major penalty in one of these games. Fair enough that he's keeping the rivalry alive between the Devils and the Rangers. But I do want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all from me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, man, peace out and take care.